the white spruce that had the woven weed control fabric put on at the time it was planted. Um, at Fort Stevens State Park, you can see it stretched pretty tight. I'm going to try to cut through the plastic and release some of that pressure. Uh, what we're finding, as you'll notice, I'm having to cut back into the bark to get that cut. You can see here where it's grown back into the tree. The tree's growing around it. We're starting to get some of these trees girdled by the plastic that was put on to help them. And uh, I first heard about this from a presentation by John Ball from South Dakota State last year at the North Dakota Urban and Community Forestry Association meeting. Bismarck. Now you see uh, another thing we're running into there again, a, a spot where it's back in, it's back in quite a ways and had to pull it out. Another thing we run into, some of these have two layers, both of them doing the same thing. This one here, the bottom layer wasn't near as tight. But you can definitely see right in here where that plastic is, being, is growing into the trunk of the tree and causing problems. So if you have a shelter belt or something, a tree that's in decline and it had this woven type fabric put around it 25, 30 years ago when it was planted or more recently, you might check it and make sure it's not becoming so tight that it is growing into the tree and girdling.